Welcome investors. This is a video on DG Spice. This video is brought to you by Smart Investor. Subscribe to our channel, like and share our videos. Press on the bell icon to get notification for the latest videos. DG Spice has various verticals. It has a fintech, tech and touch. It is into contact center management for government. It is a system integrator and it has telco touch. In this presentation, we will cover all aspects of the company. Startup Works has human capital, data sets and algorithm, platforms, frameworks and technology. <coughs> this is the journey of the company from mobile handsets, hardware to 2000 and telecom operator, Spice and Modi Telestra move to retail brick and mortar then move to digital digispice rebranded as digispice in 2018 offering e-government fintech and full suit of digital incubate companies digital space has three verticals digispice spice money digital enterprise digital telco the features are more than 1 million tracks promoted, more than 1,400 artists and labels signed up. It has 130 plus channel distribution capability, automatic generation of unique ISRC, automatic conversion of content into 35 plus multiple formats, single interface to manage multiple channels, periodic channel wise revenue shared via SMS and mails near real-time content performance reports, invoice generation through interface, content management module, channel partner management module, service management module. This is about the product. Flyway strategy to drive growth, Adhikari customers, transactions, data, innovation and new products. This is positive unit economics business model, operating leverage to be driven by transactions growth. The company has Bharat Consumer, which assisted shopping delivery on cash or COD. It has e-pharmacy diagnostic telemedicine in the health care services, the government services, government to citizen services offered, entrepreneur solutions and digital payments, CRM, Hatha. On the travel services, it has ticketing, tour packages, visa, passport services. On the financial services, it offers savings, insurance and credit. On the payment services, the company offers digital payment, bill payment, mobile, DTH recharge, loan repayments, enterprise cash management. The company also offers basic banking, which includes MATM, cash withdrawal, cash deposit, balance inquiry and remittance. The company has a launch of Travel Union, India's first rural travel super aggregator, launched in August 2021. The company is building the community and rural lending model, JV, with a product called Tarya. Tarya Group is a leading P2P banking platform in Israel with assets under management of $800 million and approximately 70% market share in P2P business in Israel. It has 8 years of experience in running digital lending business with diverse products, models, mortgage, vehicle, point of sales, buy now, pay later, embedded finance. The company is building a rural lending model, overcoming the challenges of access data and collection. The company offers digital government solutions, which includes all-in-one mobile governance, which is just a click away. Features of this is integrated with Aadhaar, DigiLocker, Pay Government, RIS and Feedback Forms, integrated government services, supports Android, iOS, Windows and web platforms, which is in 13 regional languages for greater reach. A multi-layer security by encryption is present, unfettered channel for citizens to share concerns, reduction of bureaucracy and corruption, greater accountability and transparency in governance. The services offered are real-time dashboard, virtual cloud, 
integrated with surrounding systems, campaign and ticket manager, integrated with core and content services, create surveys and polls, discovery engine, contextual machines, upselling, customer profiling. Another features are customized dashboard, service credibility score, service audit and fraud management, revenue enhancement by intelligent campaign management, minimizing revenue leakage, service usage, user retention, service loyalty score. The company has Spice Money, India's leading rural fintech platform. Spice Money is a merchant only mobile wallet with transforms transactions with innovative digital banking solutions in its endeavor to provide quick, easy, accessible and reliable banking services to customers. Spice Money provides a range of path breaking and safe money transfer solutions which can be availed instantly and accessed anywhere. Spice Money harasses state of the art technologies to provide security against fraud and money laundering. The features of Spice Money are domestic money transfer, Aadhaar enabled payments, bill payments, motor insurance, ride, flight booking, PAN card application, update, airtime and DTH charges. Digimoney is rapidly growing mobile wallet with features like P2P payment, online and offline merchant payments, domestic and international remittance, utility payments for bills, recharge, insurance, transport. Digimoney is headed towards becoming the most preferred e-wallet for users across the pyramid of USSD, mobile apps and NFC. The DFS platform allows rollout of new commission structures, bonus payouts for retail and attractive promotions and cashbacks with ease. The company has a robotic process automation division, often referred to as the fourth industrial revolution, helps businesses achieve greater efficiency and productivity while running leaner and cost effective. Companies at the forefront of solving industry level problems using the RPA and technologies with seamless integration capabilities. Automation of complex unstructured tasks and rule-based structural tasks is achieved through RPA enabling end-to-end -end enterprise-wide automation. The RPA features include user-friendly, hyper-flexible, ultra-secure, centralized control, end-to-end -end compliance, IT equivalent architecture. Companies' milestones include 50,000 merchants, 4.5 million transactions per month, 8 million customers. The company has given a return of 36.42% for the investors from the low of 40, it has crossed 110. It has given a gain of 12 rupees in the last one year. The last six months has been negative, the stock is down by 9 rupees. In the last one month, the script has jumped from 40 levels to 50 levels, currently trading around 45 rupees. This is a highly speculative skip, and only those who are having a higher appetite for risk taking should buy the scripts at the current level and hold. We expect the price to cross 60 levels within next couple of months.